3 to 1 of your long chat. Hashtag heart. It's also one of those that I heard a little bit of it from the track video. Uh, it reminds me of Red Velvet, right? With this melody. With this. What is this? I love the way sing, they sing that. That's one of my favorite parts. Kinda dubstepy. Oh, I did not expect that. Oh. Very fun, very fun here. So, that's kind of like the future bass kind of sounds, you know? All right, I love the song for all the right reasons. This is a very, very uh, fun song. This is just, um, it's just fun. The mixing is also a little bit weird, but it gives the nice uh, atmosphere for the song. Um, like I said, it definitely reminds me of one of those like kind of like red velvet kind of weird um, instrumentals and um, has a lot of influence, like the, the rapping part, everything that, that was kind of like dubstep. And then this these synths are also kind of like future bass, one of those kind of synths. And I feel like this song at first might sound a little bit hard to get into, but I feel like if you give it a chance, um, it's, it's a really, really good song. Um, so yeah, I really love that too. Let's go to the next song. Three to one of your prologue. <laughs>
This one focuses more on the singing melodies. I like it so far. I need to hear the chorus again. The whole song is just this chopped melody. song that gives me good vibes and uh, I love the melody here um, it focuses way more on the vocals and the way they sing it um, and I love that because you can clearly hear every sound it's not too chaotic right and every time they add a new sound you definitely notice it and it's it's just really nice I just really like the way they like made it really minimalistic with the production so yeah I love that song by the way, that was great. Let's go to the next song. 3 to 1 now we have Live My Life. That really reminded me of some other song that I heard a long time ago. With this. Is this Sia? I don't know what it is. It's someone. A very rockish kind of song, I think. Oh. Mm. I love the drums. Winter vocals. Another very happy. I don't know, I just feel happy from these songs. They're like good vibes. It's like she's singing in the back. Life's too short, the right reference.
another song that I love, and um, I'm really not someone who likes this rock kind of sound in K-pop, um, but of course there are some groups that do it right, and this is definitely one of those songs. It just made me smile again. It was really a feel-good song, and like the way they sing it and these high vocals are so good. I also I love the lyrics that I understood. It's just very, very nice. Let's go to the next song. Three to one, Avia Melody. Hmm. Very fantastic right now. I love the red coin. This could be one of those really good ballads. Ooh. I love how magical it feels. Ooh. God damn. Chills, chills, chills all around. Do, 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 do. Man, the chorus was so loud and full of detail. What was that? June, you hear that? Here we go again. Oh man! Another SM together singing, love it. Oh. Two. Well, who produced this? The notes, everything is so. Man, this is another level. You know it's a good song when it leaves like five seconds of nothing at the end. That was the last song and what an end. Guys, that's... I don't know, I don't want to say it right now, but that's literally one of my favorite ballad kind of sounding tracks that I've heard in a long time. Um, that was just a masterpiece. Whoever produced this is a legend. Um, it definitely has that SM resemblance um, in the melodies and in the notes and man, brah. Every time I heard a chorus, I go like chills. It's so full of detail and like um, they sing it so well, but I think it's just it's just the notes, the, the way they sing it and the magical feeling that I got from it and the little piano, everything about it is just so 10 out of 10. It could be my favorite song from the album at this point. I, I love it that much. All right, so <laughs> this album is definitely, like I said, it has variety. It's not just like that Espa metallic kind of sound. It has a lot of variety and less so, like it's not like Savage album where it's almost all songs are like have that kind of same feeling or atmosphere. This is definitely 
something different, right? And now, the, do I love it or not? Personally, I think this is a masterpiece, okay? But I feel like a lot of people expect Espa to have this certain sound, so I'm not gonna, I'm not sure how this is gonna be like perceived in other eyes. Um, but for me, I appreciate variety and I don't just appreciate variety, I appreciate when it's done good, right? And this album is done so well um, because the, the, the quality of the songs is really high and um, they vocally really improved, every member really improved on their vocals and you can clearly hear it, it's, it's so professional sounding um, and when their vocals are so good it doesn't matter if the if the beat is not that like crazy it can be very minimalistic like we heard in one of those songs and it, it still sounds good so yeah that's that's what i mean so yeah like i said this is their best quality album um but it's definitely not something that you would expect Espa to do set the tone is one of those songs that i would expect 100 percent right um, but everything else is kind of like experimental sounding. It's definitely more replayable, right? This album is way more replayable since you have so many songs that, that have different vibes and atmospheres. Um, man, love it. I, I definitely love it. <laughs> but, but the way they, they end it with melody is criminal, man. Like that song is so good. I would say Melody and um, Bahama are my favorite songs for sure. Um, wow, I can't wait to listen to this more. I know it just gets better from, from now here. What What's your guys' favorite song? Tell me in the comments. Do you feel like this is something that you expected from Espa? And would you like them to continue this way? I'm someone who would rather have like these full albums than like mini albums. And I would wait longer for it um, because it definitely is stuck in my mind for a longer time. It, it makes it more memorable, I don't know why, just me, when mini albums just go and go and go and then a full album comes, I remember the album way more than the mini albums, it's just a personal thing, so yeah, if, if they actually did second album next time, that would be dream, my dream, I guess, but that's definitely not gonna happen, um, but let's hope for it, it's gonna come soon, maybe, so yeah. If you guys did enjoy my reaction, I'll leave a like or dislike, subscribe, I'll see you in the next video.